In this video, I'm going to go over how Henry Cavill got in shape for his role as Geralt of Rivia in the Netflix TV series. And we're starting right now. What's up everybody? My name is Dante. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So as we all know, The Witcher TV series just came out last December and it was pretty fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed it. It's something that... I've been a fan of for a very, very long time. I played the game, I've read the books. Not all of them, but I'm gonna be getting to that soon. But with that in mind, what did Henry Cavill do to get in such good shape for The Witcher? Let's find out. When I was doing research for this, the first thing that I noticed is that Henry Cavill likes to do fasted cardio in the morning. And as he's gone to say, a lot of times in the past he's been considered too fat for some roles like the James Bond movie, which blows my mind looking at him now. But if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. He's a very, very busy guy. He needs to get in the cardio and do the work he needs to whenever he's able to. So first thing in the morning on an empty stomach makes sense. On the Men's Health YouTube channel, Henry Cavill was shown doing different exercises that really helps with the posterior chain, with you know sword fighting, and all the stunt work he had to do. One of the best exercises you can possibly do is a Romanian deadlift, and this is something that his trainer had him do regularly to build up his hamstrings, his glutes, and his lower back for all the stunt work he would be required to do on the actual set of The Witcher. He actually had him do a four second descent and this is gonna help control the movement, make sure he's not doing the movement incorrectly, rounding at the back, which is obviously bad with you know the barbell in that loaded position. And when he gets to the bottom, he holds it for about two seconds and then he pushes the glutes through to get back to the top. And this is a very good way to do this and set it up. It's gonna make sure that he's training a lot of the muscle groups in his low back, his hamstrings, and his glutes without doing a ton of extra weight. He has to think about his central nervous system and how he's recovering because if he's just pushing himself really freaking hard all the time and doing those 12 hour shoots where he's doing stunt work the whole entire time just think about that that's a lot of work to be doing so doing heavy deadlifts which don't actually work a lot of you know those muscle groups directly as much as a romanian deadlift does makes a lot of sense moving on he also had henry cavill do back extensions but the way he had him do them was a little different than some people do them in the gym First of all, he had him use a glute ham raise, and this is going to make the exercise a little more difficult because instead of being at a 45 degree angle like this, you're going to be flat the whole entire time. So when you get to that peak contraction, there's a lot more work being done here as opposed to up here. For the back extensions, the idea is to uncurl the spine as far as you possibly can, and then extend up to the top position and hold it for about one to two seconds. Once again, this is going to increase the time under tension, and this is going to improve how much muscle is going to be able to build and how much support he's going to be able to build without using a ton of heavy weights to load his spine up. Because again, we want to think about recovery at all times, and for someone like Henry Cavill, where he's you know he's working 12-hour days, he needs to focus on recovery as much as possible, otherwise he's going to be completely drained. Next, we're going to move on to abdominal work. There's a lot of rotational work done when you're swinging a sword on set. So with this in mind, he had him do this movement right here where he's sitting up with a cable machine and he's just kind of, you know, resisting the pull of it and he brings his hands in and out. As he moves the hands out, that's going to increase the pull even more. And because he's working through a full range of motion like this, it's really, really trying on the obliques especially. And this is great because when he's doing all that stunt work with the swords and everything, you see him in the show, he's swinging around, he's doing all these stunts and everything. He's kicking ass the whole time, of course, but doing that for a long period of time, you need to have a lot of strength. You're not going to be able to generate any power you know, on set for what he's doing. He has to control every movement. He can't just swing through an opponent and kill them like he does on the show. He actually has to back off every single time, which actually works a lot at the back as well. So that's something that they, they had to work on very, very much. So posterior chain and abdominal work is very, very important for those kind of movements. Next up, we have work for the shoulders. The shoulders are a very, very complex group of muscles. And if you aren't training them directly and getting the most out of all three heads, then you're gonna get some injuries down the road, especially if you're wielding a heavy sword. So to combat this, they did a variation of a lateral raise and a front raise. And he'll do a lateral raise, and for the next rep, he'll come a little farther forward, and then the last rep, he'll come directly out in front. This is a very good idea for multiple reasons. When you're swinging that heavy sword around, you're doing all these motions with the arms and everything, it's not just your arms, it's not just your core, it's your shoulders, your back, everything else is connected and working as a unit. The other exercises he had Henry Cavill do is actually an alternating bicep curl with a static hold. And again, for your forearms, for your biceps, there's a lot of work done with those swords, a lot of work when you're on back of a horse, you know, a horse. Obviously, you're going to have to control the reins. So building up his biceps and his grip and his forearms is very, very important. So by doing these alternating curls, he can put a lot of pressure on one bicep while the other one's doing a full range of motion and switch back and forth. And this is going to increase the time under tension again. It's going to really work the forearm because you're holding that static position while, you know, in between doing reps, which is very, very difficult when you think about it. Obviously, this isn't all the training that he did. This is just a small little sample of what he had to focus on. But 
As you can see, it's a lot of posterior chain work, working on the biceps, forearms, shoulders, everything up that chain that's holding those swords, holding the reins on a horse, and just, you know, kicking ass on set. If you guys haven't seen The Witcher, I definitely recommend it. It's fantastic. I was really, really impressed with the, you know, the choreography, especially with the sword fights. And I know a lot of people, you know, they talk crap about sword fights and how they're not even trying to attack each other. They're just hitting the swords against each other. Obviously, I know a thing or two about that. But as you can see, he got in really good shape. And on top of that, he looks great. And that's kind of the whole point when you're preparing for a role like this. It's not just how you perform, it's how you look as well. But that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you got some value out of this video, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. What was your impression of The Witcher? Did you guys like it? Did you guys play the books or the... Wow. Did you guys play the games or read the books? What do you guys know about The Witcher other than the TV series? I love that show. I love the series. I love everything about it. Hopefully season two comes sooner than 2021, which is what I hear we're going to be getting. But maybe if they can get December, that'd be fantastic. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys next time.